There is an evolution in everything that makes you feel blessed. That makes you feel like something. That gives your life a kind of significance to bear. Um, a, f a foolproof implication that you'll be alright. That you're that your world is going to be this impeccable realm. A realm that'll house and cultivate your genius for an eternity. But at some point, it all becomes fleeting. It all starts to lose its luster and wash out. These, these circumstances lose face and disappear. They, they get replaced with the future you hadn't intended on living. The future you expected you'd be impervious to, that you'd be safe from, that couldn't possibly exist. The people who made these moments with you deteriorate or move on from your realm as their own become threatened. The original experts of your happiness and collective peace of mind become fractured. Relationships become strained and severed due to situations, struggles, the changing tides. The tides that took you from satisfaction and smugness to unprecedented fear and chaos. Some will grow to hate each other, to despise each other, to loathe the thought of one another. Wars will be waged, hearts will be broken. Some will remain in contact out of loyalty and to honor what used to exist, but it won't be the same. It will be forced. It will be insincere. Nothing could recapture the gilded age of devotion and harmony. That great society who perpetrated their closeness. The nights by the river. Nights of music. Nights of kissing in the dark, starting fires, sharing secrets, professing love. They maintain contact so they don't lose those nights. But those nights are gone and replaced with new ones. Ones of anxiety, of longing, of wondering. But you've become too jaded, too oblivious too bored, too comfortable with the conflict, the disappointment, and because the pretty girls have new boyfriends, because the guitars are broken, because the glass is empty, because the river is toxic. Because the kids have grown up and they're all too busy fighting. <laughs>